peeps and welcome to life on board Amy Jo. Yep, I'm on my own once again. Do you know, we've been really busy this week and I apologise for the vlog being late this week, but trying to pin Chris down to do the intros and outros while she's at work is nigh on impossible. So rather than be even later, I've, uh, I've, done, I've done the vlog on my own again today. However, it's um, a slightly different log this time. This time it's done uh, a cruise, uh, but it's on Chris's perspective rather than my perspective. It's usually me doing all the narration. It's me that's doing all the filming. Well, this time Chris has taken the reins. She's done all the filming, so you can look out for that one and enjoy that. We've also had the engine service by our uh, engineer and I didn't film him because it would be a bit like giving away trade secrets. They have their method of working. Um, but I did, what I did do is in order to do a full service on the engine, we have to take some of the framework out at the back of the cabin. Uh, so we've done a time lapse of that for you, you can enjoy. And we've also had a new cover. So you can see the difference between the old and new one on this vlog. So I do hope you enjoy it. If you're sitting comfortably and you've got your drink, then we'll get the video rolling. So this is our back cabin and the engine sits under the two covers in the centre of the screen. Normally to check the engine over before we get going I just remove the cover furthest away at the top of the screen to do the oil and water checks. However to do a full service these need to be removed.
And there you have it, folks. Bit of a faff to get the steel work out, as Chris said, but that gives full access to the engine now. Plus, if I lift the back deck up that I'm stood on as well, there's an even bigger space. So that's it, we're done. Well, Steve is live on Facebook. I thought I would just do the view from my perspective. I'm literally just sitting in the bow of the boat. Smudge is there between my legs as he normally sits when we sit up the front here. The bow's untied. It's just waiting for Steve to move off. It's such a beautiful day today as well. We look very close to that boat in front. Actually, there's about two, three foot gap. Right. Oh, he's come up this side. Yeah, just, pushing, just, just pushing the bow out a bit. There we go. Just pushing the bow out. There he is. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm being the lady of leisure, I think, here today. The pigeon just skimmed across the top of my head. There we go, smudge that one. Fortunately or unfortunately, whatever way you look at it, going back to the marina for a few days. Um, we've just got to go towards Chester to wind the boat, to turn it round to face the other way. So that is where we're off to now. Strange because I can actually hear Steve in the back. Steve's videoing the whole cruise. I'll just do little bits. It's like looking through a window now, going under the bridge. This is what it's all about, this boating long. When it's like this, it's heaven. Oh, hello, Smudge. looks quite pretty with all its feathery fluffy clouds stuff on it. I don't know what it's called. Around this corner, I think we're into Christleton then. It's just beautiful, nice and peaceful. I love looking at the reflections in the water of the trees. And then, obviously, you have to have smudge his head in. But that's our life. That's what happens when we cruise.
have all these gardens that are coming up on the right. Whether they have gardeners or whether they do it themselves, they are absolutely beautiful. Just hear the wind rustling through the trees. Huge extension and garden landscaping as well. That'll be spectacular when it's finished. Oh, another boat, and Steve's on completely the wrong side. Let's go under the willow tree then, shall we? <laughs> I miss it because I'm sitting down. Steve will go through it though. And as long as Smudge doesn't try and pull any of the, the branches down, we'll be alright. So whilst back in the marina we took the opportunity to have our front cratch cover replaced. This is our original one which was fitted when the boat was built. It's nearly eight years old and it's done sterling service. It's really been good. But I've reproofed it three times and we've had all the zips on the covers replaced. But now there's a few tears and wear and the poor thing is looking rather sad for itself. So we decided we'd have a new one fitted. And there's the new one, looking rather smart with its light grey piping. Fits the colours of the boat beautifully. And I have to say, Steve from um, Covers & Co have made an excellent job fitting the cover. We're really pleased with it. And uh, it looks a lot smarter. So let's hope this one lasts just as long as the old one did. But for now, we're enjoying the new cover. Well, that's it for this week i hope you enjoyed it as i say it's a little bit shorter than our usual uh, vlogs but we feel now that maybe our vlogs were a little bit too long and uh, i think people were shutting off long before the end of the video so we're trying to keep them that little bit shorter now so I do hope you enjoyed it and uh, to all our new subscribers thank you so much for joining us uh, we say this every week without your support our videos wouldn't be possible so thank you once again and thank you for giving us all the thumbs up and the comments. We've, we love, a, love your comments, as you know, we try to reply to them all. So do please keep them coming and uh, stay safe. Enjoy yourselves. We'll be cruising out on our summer cruise soon. So lots of new cruising vlogs to look forward to. But we do have a couple of weeks beforehand. We are back in the marina at the moment. So the live feed will be down for a few days. But don't give up hope, folks. On Tuesday next week, we'll be back up again. 
so uh, and you can enjoy the cruising then so until then stay safe stay well take care of yourselves and we'll see you next time on life on board amy joe bye for now